Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. In this video I will be unboxing and reviewing Space Marine Tech Marine in the Mark IV Power Armour. One of these guys will set you back £22, which is uh, quite a lot of money really, just for a sort of like a Mark IV um, Space Marine. But he is a Tech Marine, so he should have a fair bit of detail. Um, So you get a nice large 32mm base and you get the Tech Marine himself, lovely sculpt, he'll be washed, brushed up, lots of cable in there, really nice in the Mark IV, he's got this sort of like battle plate thing going on, got his head, really nice helmet and his bolt pistol power pack with some kind of sort of air conditioning unit going on there <laughs> really nice and we got a couple of arms a nice shoulder pad with sort of like a tech marine thing going, theme going on with a with a skull really nice sort of 3d skull that they've uh, been able to achieve and then you've got the sort of servo arm claw and it's even got the little bolts on there and then you've got the power axe which is brilliant I mean you could really proxy this dude as a normal tech marine in your 40k army he's certainly going to sit somewhere in my chapter and I like his axe how it's sort of separated by these bundles of fibres Really nice touch that. Yeah, really, really well achieved. So there's more than meets the eye to, to this little tech marine. And uh, what we'll do is we'll wash him, glue him, and um, show you the finished model. So join me in part two. And welcome to part two um, of my unboxing and review of the, the Space Marine Mark IV tech marine. Um, so here he is, completely finished. Put a bit of green stuff there just to cover the, the hole on his chin from the the, the bubble um, from the moulding process. But he's, he's just such a nice looking miniature, really is. Um, will will go really well with your Mark IV Legion. I love all these cables and sort of ports and things on the back. I think they're missing a bit here. I think instead of the sort of air conditioner unit or whatever, um, they could have put another claw or, or a weapon, um, like a... Uh, a range weapon instead of just his bolt pistol. I think they are miss missing something there. But overall, really nice detail. The skull is a fantastic piece um, and I love all these wires that sort of run in between the pieces of metal on his power axe. Really incredible detail that's going on here and even with the little servo arm and, the, and its drill, I think that's pretty nice. Would have liked to have seen like a flamer on it or blowtorch. I mean, you know, he's a tech marine could he really be repairing vehicles with just with just that? I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Who who knows? But um, yeah, really nicely detailed model. I do think he's a tad expensive. Um, Twenty two pound for a resin Mark IV miniature, especially when you can get like box. Uh, I know I'm comparing, you know, quantity and quality and all the rest of it. But when you can get a box of five. Um, you know mark four resin marines for i think they're like 25 quid or whatever when you're paying three quid less and you get one um i know he's got all of his parts and things and the the marines don't have bolt guns they're just the the model and i think they've, they've got the heads it sort of just brings it in perspective a little bit you know size wise it would have been better i think if this guy was i don't know 15 quid maybe but 22 is is a lot of money for for a single single um resin sort of 32 mil base miniature in in my opinion you know compared to the, the sort of like the rest of the range and what you can get equivalent how does he compare with sort of newer tech marines well straight away this is the, the tech marine that you'd normally be um looking at 
He's on a 28mm base, just that's just because he's quite an old model. 32mm bases weren't around back then. Um, well, not for Space Marines anyway. And uh, yeah, he, he would look better on a 32mm, but um, I like to just leave him on, on this. Um, but that's sort of like the difference that you're looking at. I mean, obviously this Tech Marine is, you know, you could even call him Master of the Forge. He's got so, so many servo arms and guns and things going on. <laughs> Um, now, price-wise, uh, basically for £3.50 more than this, you're going to get him uh, with four servitors. This guy is metal, but if you bought him now with the servitors, um, that's all in the, the fine cast, the resin. Which, personally, I've had no issues at all with. I've bought quite a few in fine cast, no issues, but that's just like a comparison side of things, that for £3.50 more you can get him with all of that all of those things going on and four extra models um with heavy bolters power claws you, you name it so that's just sort of like a price comparison kind of thing that i want to just put out there um also how does it compare to say like a, a thunderfire cannon um tech marine well it's, it's quite similar actually and that's what he looks like compared to um that tech marine as you can see look quite a lot going on with um with weapons and flamers and things like that and this this tech marine just looks like he's just started he's got his power axe a little servo arm and a bolt pistol that's it back then i i would have thought that be, there'd be a lot more going on in terms of sort of technology things like that maybe that's reflected on that maybe the you know they don't need as many many things on their their suits and things but who knows the reason and why he hasn't got an awful lot of equipment and things but i just thought i'd like to make that um comparison between these these two tech marines and uh, it's something that i want to want to do more of on my channel if i can um incorporate because i like to give you the unboxing and review of these um sort of single miniatures as quick as possible um without any pain and that's purely a time sort of thing if you if you wanted to see the model uh unboxed uh built and painted it, the videos would take ages because I've just got a lot to paint um, so I'd like to bring you some painted models uh, try and incorporate some painted models into into these unboxings and reviews as sort of like a comparison thing and then obviously eventually I'll I'll make a make a, another video um, showing him painted up so yeah there's just a bit of a bit of a comparison and, uh, and a look at this uh, Mark IV Tech Marine I mean obviously it'll go well next to a vehicle or something uh, in your Mark IV Legion but um, just just look at him, really. Yeah, that's the the end of my unboxing and review. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor protects.